Okay, up to this point, we have discussed stationarity, white sand stationarity. Uh, and in, in, in the case of white sand stationarity, we have discussed the properties of the autocorrelation function. And from this point on, we are going to look at some uh, important random processes and we will look at how to compute their means, their autocorrelation functions, whether they are stationary or not, etc. Okay, the first one we will talk about is the IID Bernoulli sequence. Okay, uh, so what does it mean, IID Bernoulli sequence? Essentially, this is a discrete time, uh, discrete valued process, and the observation at any time index is a Bernoulli random variable. Okay, not only a Bernoulli random variable, but also the same uh, distribution. So it has the same parameter across time. And also two observations and at different times are independent. That's why we say IID, okay? So IID Bernoulli P sequence. You have a sequence of Bernoulli P random variables and each of them are independent. So you can also think this as a sequence of coin tosses. Obviously the mean is independent of time and equal to P because every at every time instant, it's a Bernoulli trial, so the mean is P. And when you look at the autocorrelation, it's essentially the correlation between uh, the, the Bernoulli sequence at N1 and N2. Now, this expectation depends on whether N1 equals N2 or not, because if N1 and N2 are the same, then this is the second moment of a Bernoulli random variable, which is P, okay? Or if N1 and N2 are different, then IN1 and IN2 are independent. Therefore, this autocorrelation becomes expected value of IN1 times expected value of IN2 in this case. And we know that this is P, this is also P, so the result is P squared. So when you actually write this in this way, if N1 equals N2, it is P. If N1 doesn't equal N2, it's P squared. You can alternatively write this as N1 minus N2 is zero or not, okay? Therefore, you see the autocorrelation depends not on N1 and N2 separately, but it depends on their difference. Is it zero or not, okay? Therefore, we say that since uh, the mean is independent of time and the autocorrelation depends only on N1 minus N2, not on N1 and N2 separately, we say that IID Bernoulli sequence is white sense stationary. In fact, any IID process, it doesn't have to be Bernoulli. If you have a random process that is IID, which, 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 which means if you observe it at any two different time instance, the distribution you see at those two time instance will be the same, the exact same distribution. Not only that, but those observations are independent random variables. If you have such a random process, it will always be white sense stationary. Another important class of random processes is some processes. Okay, so if you have X of N, a random process, uh, as the notation implies, we assume this is a discrete time random process. It can be a discrete valued or it can be continuous value, it doesn't matter, but it's discrete time. We will define the sum process as the sum of X i's from one up to N. Okay, so uh, X of N and S of N are defined for n greater than or equal to one, one, two, three, four, etc. So S of n, the sum process is, as you see, the uh, the cumulative sum of x of uh, i's. Now, one key observation here is, for instance, you can write S of n as S of n minus one, which has the sum of x values from one up to n minus one. So if you add x of n to that you get S of N, okay? This is a key property. And in general, we can, in fact, not only N minus one, but we can write this S of N as S of N minus one, uh, N minus M, okay? Plus the remaining X terms, 
x of m uh, x of m plus one x of m plus two dot 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 etc up to x of n minus one x of n okay so because the others are x of one x of two etc up to x of n minus m are included in this sum okay but the remainder is here x of uh, n minus m plus one plus x of n minus m plus two up to x of n. So this here should be n plus, uh, sorry, n minus n plus one. I will have to correct that. But you get the idea. Some terms are here, the remainder are here. Okay, we will use this idea a lot when uh, computing autocorrelations in, in the SQL. Now, as a special case, in, in this definition, assume this xi is uh, the IID Bernoulli P sequence. In this case, the sum process becomes the binomial counting process. How so? If you look at it at time n, what does it mean? You have n IID Bernoulli P random variables. And the value of B of n at that point is the sum of them. Well, this we know from our earlier discussions that has a binomial distribution. Okay, so B of n will have a binomial distribution with parameter n and p, okay? So the PMF of p of n will be equal to n choose k times p to the power k, one minus p to the power n minus k, obviously for k between one and n. This is called the binomial counting process. You're counting the number of successes in a sequence of uh, IID Bernoulli P trials, okay? So it's not the binomial random variable because the N is not fixed. And now is the time index. So it's a rolling count, okay? After every trial, you update uh, your count. Now, obviously the expected value of the binomial counting process because it has a binomial distribution has a mean value of N times P. Okay, and obviously, as you see, it depends on time and is time. It depends on time. So the binomial counting process is not stationary in any sense. It's not strict sense stationary. It's not uh, white sense stationary. It's not stationary in the mean. It's not first order stationary, has no stationary property because its behavior is defined through time. If you change the uh, origin, that means you are discarding some of your binomial trials. So that will change the behavior of the binomial counting process. So it is dependent on where the origin is placed. Therefore, it's not stationary in any sense. 